Get it out of here. Yeah. Drop kick it out the gym. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But we're going to head into 75 kilograms, and we're going to see. That caution rule only applies in Greco now is what I'm being told, just for clarification. So 75 kilograms, Iris Smith out of the world-class athlete program in your red singlet, taking on Justina DeStanto out of Canada. Canadian finalist, first Canadian finalist here at 75 kilograms. DeStanto in a rear standing position. Fend it off. Well, is DeStanto. DeStacio. DeStacio. See. Do I need to break the white pedal out on you now? <laughs> I think... All right, you got me there, Richard. There's no you got a caution, there. fling the commentary. <laughs> so we're 20, 35 seconds into this match. We're scoreless. If we're still scoreless when it hits the two-minute mark, somebody's going to get warned. That's been the trend. That's got to get the action going. So the refs promote the action by warning somebody with passivity. They're going to say Distacio. And they're going to stop the match, warn her for passivity, give her a warning, let her know that she's got to pick the pace up. Both... In essence, though, this kind of is warning both people because somebody has to get picked, and there's been no score in that first minute. Well, and uh, here's a fun fact for you. Ira Smith, a two-time Dave Schultz champion, last time she won it, 2001. She won it in 2000 and 2001, her two Schultz titles. Was a world champion in 2005. I was nine years old when she won the Schultz for her first time. For her la the last time she won it. Interesting. Yeah, she's really been, she's been at this for a while. There. 35 years of age is Iris. Um, Distacio, you know, she's been around. Uh, she's a college national champion three-time for Simon Fraser University. That's where Helen Maruis and Victoria Anthony went. we got a little exchange going on here now. Distacio was in on the attack, and Iris Smith, you know, bringing her down to the front headlock. Trying to get up to her feet here is Distacio. Now he's, she's in on a single leg, looking to get around. No takedown awarded yet. Smith doing a really good job staying tough in that base. And he almost touched, did not touch yet. Really good job here by Smith. But it's going to be broken. And she's going to give up the takedown. So Distacio is going to go up two to zero. One, 50 seconds remains in this first period. Distacio is up 2-0 off the strength of a takedown here with under a minute to go. We're going to go back to these collar ties. Fighting wrists here for Smith. Firing off an attack there. Re-attack here for Distacio. Could be big points there. How are they going to score two? Two takedown for Distacio. She's up 4-0 with 30 seconds left in this first period. Some nice re-attacks there, Richard. Yep, some solid re-attacks from Distacio. She's starting to to make her mark here in this match. And this was a, uh, a round robin. Only three athletes registered at 75. Both these ladies won their opening round. And so this is for the true first place. Looks like Clark Walker, the other competitor at this weight class. Iris Smith working on a uh, two on one here. As we head to the break, 4-0 in favor of Justina Distacio, trying to become the only non-American to win a Schultz title here today in the women's division. And she's on her way as she has a 4-0 lead. Got three minutes left to wrestle. Anything can happen in these matches. That's what makes freestyle super exciting is that anything can happen. A match can end at the blink of an eye. And that's what also makes it some of the best wrestling too is you have to always be careful and be in great position. So at this elite level, you see some Really great wrestling like we're seeing here today. Finger fighting here. Still hanging on to those fingers. Refs kind of just warn them. We're 25 seconds into the second period. 
Stasio still leads by four, but starting to pick up her pace here is Smith moving forward. Running to a single leg here, but now coming up with the hook. They're gonna call, they're gonna warn Destacio for passivity. Yep, Destacio now on the 30 second shot clock. Smith trying to get on the board here in this exchange. Great music playing in the background here. We're gonna minute 51 left, 20, 10 seconds. stasio has got a score, fires off an attack. Now we're doubling it off. We're looking for a chin whip there was Smith and not able to get it. So she's going to be down six to zero now. Yeah, Pistacio really scored during the shot clock. Which that, is that uh, she did. She something really I have not seen a lot of. Usually the shot clock leads to a shot clock violation, but she scored in those 30 seconds. Firing off that single leg attack again with Smith, but she's only able to get one hand down to it. And with some big hips, you're not going to be able to get that leg in the air with only one hand. Yep. Entering this last minute, Smith needs to pick up the pace, lock up something tight. I mean, she's she's got to look feet to back at this point. Stasio going to stay in solid position here. Try to grind this thing out, 45 seconds left. Looking to be Canada's only champion, the world's only champion outside of the United States for that, for that matter. But, you know, as we were mentioned before, anything can happen here. Smith can lock up a big throw and end this one. But 30 seconds going here, and it doesn't seem like she's going to be able to get to her position. She hasn't been able to get to her positions yet. Starting to get some snaps going here, but I don't think Smith's going to be able to get it as D'Astasio is gonna take this one. So Canada has a champion. Somebody other than the United States has a champion here at 75 kilograms. Your winner, Justina D'Astasio. Well, Richard, Immel, what a great three days of wrestling. Greco, men's Greco and freestyle wrapped up by today, women's freestyle. I had a super awesome time out here on the beautiful